This is the Salvation by Salvin. It is a tray mount board that uses a leaf spring system to provide a more bouncy typing experience. The board's group by ran in Q2 of 2021, and there was a huge hype behind it. Prominent keyboard streamers like Alex Otos, Apiary Keyboards, Lightning Keyboards, and Euro PSD showed off the prototype and gave their initial impressions of the board. It showed a lot of promise about what the board will be like. Though the design of the board wasn't anything to shout home about, at the time, the board's mounting style was unique and innovative compared to other boards that were running at the time that were following the hype behind the gasket mounting system. With all the hype building behind the board, the manufacturing process unfortunately hit multiple barriers leading to delays until the group by completion in January 2023. The board comes in five colors, Soul Black, Lightning Silver, Samurai Blue, Momentum Red, and Business Gray, an FR4 plate, and either hot swap or solder PCB, costing around $300. The build process is open-ended and leaves the user the choice to create their own layout of the leaf springs. When it comes to the placement of the leaf springs, Salvin has a go-to layout. And the question is, why do they not use leaf springs on the far left and right mounting points? When looking at the design of the case, the mounting points for standoffs are placed on the sides of the case and the space between the sides and the center of the board. In most cases, the PCB will bow in the center and will not always be a perfectly flat PCB out of the box. Due to how the PCB was manufactured and how much material is on the PCB. When looking at the PCBs, the solder version has flex cuts, which means less material and a higher likelihood of bowing. On the other hand, the hot swap version has no flex cuts and has more material such as the PCB itself and hot swap sockets. When a PCB bows, the side view of the PCB appears like a bridge or an upside down arc. The flex cuts cause the top and bottom portion of the solder PCB to bow, while the middle portion, where the alphas are located, are more straight and aligned with the case. When using the two standoff points on the sides of the case, this bowing will be more prominent, but when using Salvin's recommended standoff points, the top portion of the PCB straightens out, leaving the bottom portion of the PCB. To resolve this, the spacebar stabilizer is placed in. Having the stabilizer placed in the PCB, the stabilizer mounting points create enough pressure on the bottom portion of the PCB for it to straighten out the bowing. The cushions that are placed on the leaf springs are contact points with the PCB. When typing, these contact points provide a bounce feedback and creates that signature bouncy feel. On Salvin's website, he uses the term vibrate to define the typing on the Salvation. Both bounce and vibration in the keyboard hobby are used in tandem and define the same thing. The feedback you will get from Salvation is a more vibrant or bouncy typing experience. The number of mounting combinations is said to be infinite by self and, and it is, sort of. With a non-order combination formula of NCR, which equals N factorial divided by R factorial times parentheses N minus R, close parentheses factorial, where N is the total mounting points and R represents the number of leaf springs being used, we can find the amount of combinations that can be made on the salvation. Using this formula, we would solve for NCR where N equals 12, representing the mounting points, and R equaling 1, which represents the leaf spring, equaling to 12. We would do this until we solve for all leaf spring combinations, then adding the outcome numbers together. When solving all these outcomes, we come to the total outcome of 4095 combinations. Not really the infinite that I expected, but still a lot of outcomes and it becomes even less when removing all outcomes that logically make no sense. For example, removing the outcomes that require three or less and odd number of leaf springs, it comes down to 1981 different combinations. Then when adding the factor that two or four of the mounting points must be standoffs, the number of outcomes decreases again. So what are the ideal mounting methods for the leaf springs? There are different viable mounting methods to leaf springs, depending on what type of typing feel you're going for. If you're looking for a more balanced mount, the Salvin method is the most ideal. It provides both the balancey feel and secures the PCB enough that the PCB won't be shifting as much when the board is being moved around. You can go even further and tweak the Salvin method to provide you with whatever you are looking for in the board's feel. If you want the PCB to be more secure, you can mount the PCB to all four standoff points. This will sacrifice the amount of bounce you may feel when typing on the board. And if you want more bounce to the board, you can ignore the standoff points to give a more bouncy typing experience. This will sacrifice the PCB security to the board and will lead to more shifting of the PCB when moving the board around. When building my salvation, I went with the Salvin method. I wanted a more balanced typing experience and didn't want to sacrifice the PCB security. I was skeptical of what this board would feel like and I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy the board at all. To my surprise, the board was very nice to type on. I enjoyed the bounce that the board had and at a certain point, 
thought of making the salvation my daily switch testing board for switch reviews. Although I want to try out different mounting methods besides Salvin's method, I am not ambitious enough to go through the process. The Salvation is a great board in my opinion. It provides a great bouncy typing experience and doesn't leave my fingers hurting from bottoming out the keys. Though I may give the Salvation its positive remarks, I have to say that it isn't a board that I would seek after in 2023. With the amount of time that had passed between the group by ending and receiving the board and other new and unique boards being released, my interest for the Salvation had diminished and I wasn't as enticed in the board. And for others, this may also be the case. There are also others that aesthetically did not like the board as well. It is an outdated design with certain characteristics relating to the subpar anodization and case internal quality control that some people were not happy about. Of course, there is nothing we can do about the amount of time that passed between the end of group buy and fulfillment day. In this hobby, you can't be surprised if any bumps or delays occur since that is just the process that the keyboard hobby has been played with for nearly all or most of its existence. When ignoring the visual presentation of the board and all the delays that led to it being fulfilled in 2023, the Salvation did what it wanted to do. It provided a unique mounting method that gives a bouncy and vibrant typing experience at a mid to low cost range. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.